Now we're back to starting cars again, hopefully before the sun sets. It's the only way to get back here. We've lost most of our snow. We had 14 inches last weekend. Now we only got like three or four. Rained all week. So here we go for the floppy cock. Hasn't been started since uh, June. Okay, got all shoveled off. Battery in. Key. Let's hope this thing doesn't have its alternator seizing problem. It starts. It's had sometimes. And I got ass protection. As you remember, this was the vehicle that had the seize motor on the crankshaft. Throttle's okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. Oh. You can depend on your floppy cock, that's for sure. Alternator is seized. Fuck! Too bad. I can't go driving in my 4x4 because my alternator is seized. Damn it. But you can depend on your 3.3, that's for sure. Next, the blunder turd. Okay, helper, start shoveling. Who needs a broom to shovel your car off? Shovel works much better. Don't scratch the paint, like I care. <laughs> there we go. This car has not been started since April, when those guys from Michigan came out and took it for a test drive. This one uses the redneck key. So, put her in park. Throttle's not stuck, let's see what's going to happen. I don't hear the fuel pump. It's right in there. Pardon? Oh, put the coil wire back on, I forgot. Take two, put the coil wire back on. Oh, wow! It could have started like that the first time, I bet. Sweet. Can't believe it. Ugh, this damn door don't work. Oh, well. You can trust your blunder turd anyways. It starts in the snow. Cool. And now for the mighty Cressida, the survivor of the bee fire, and spoofed on G4 TV. All set now for take one, batteries in. Now that the Grand Marquis's gone, it's the rustiest car on the farm. Maybe always was. Oh, I need to go get my ass protection from the floppy cock. Damn it. Ass protection up, let's get her done. Let's hope that fuel pump works. Oh, there's some memories of bees. Bees gone by. And a redneck key. Throttle works. And the fuel pump on. It is on. Oh, don't tell me the thing screwed up again. Oh, it's alive. It sounds like a bee. It's alive. Uh, it's not in park. Battery connection issue. Twist terminal. Oh, come on, baby. What the hell? It's a Toyota. I'm having bad luck this year with my Toyotas, my shitty fuel pumps. There's gas in there. Probably water too. I 
I think we got ice in the fuel lines because water gets in there. Oh well, the Cressida don't start. Tisk tisk. Next we'll see if with a good battery if this one will start this time. The GTS. And El Toromino sure is full of snow. Holy crap. Screw global warming. This thing's got a glacier inside the front seat. I sure hope that this Toyota doesn't let me down like the last time. Two in a row would just be not my style. Okay, we're in the GTS. What the hell? Oh, come on, BB. Cars with uh, no back pressure, no exhaust are always hard to start in the cold. Oh, I don't believe it. Is this going to be two Toyotas that don't work? Oh man, this did, did this to me last winter. Oh, no way. All right, I give up. We're not having a good day like last time. Damn it. And now for the Ain't so swift. Shit Zuki. Blah. Geo Metro Man, this video is for you. That's, I'm talking about you, Spencer. Let's see if it's going to start. Well, you better make an attack video against this guy. He just scratched the paint on your favorite car with that shovel. You're in for it now. Look out. You'll be afraid to turn on the computer. This car has not been running since early June when I welded up the underneath of it and took it for that slow drive. All set. And this one uses a redneck key. The oil pump's working. Battery connection. Try again. One of them's still loose. Still? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes! She's a runner. Cool. I guess that's better than a Toyota that doesn't run, even if it is a piece of shit.